Good evening everyone, welcome back to another Train Simulator live stream. We're going to be taking our first look at the Glasgow subway today, uh, which is a new route from Thompson Interactive. Very much looking forward to it, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show it off. And if you don't know who Thompson Interactive are, um, West Coast Mainland, Trent Valley, Benina Line, that sort of good stuff. And my favourite being the West Coast Mainland, Trent Valley, very good route. And it's got announcements as well. But anyway, uh, let's come over to the chat, um, if I can get onto the chat. But yeah, we're going to be checking out the Glasgow subway. Come on, tablet. Sometimes it just wants to be really slow. It's loading. It's loading. Anyway, yeah, let's see what you get with the um, Glasgow subway. So let's find it. Um, come on, come on. If I did I not load it up, I don't think I even loaded up the chat. So let me quickly do that. Uh, it won't take two ticks. Hopefully it's not slow. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be in the chat in a second. So let's see. Um, Glasgow. No, not H. Glasgow. There we go. Glasgow Subway. So you get a 1980, uh, a 1980s uh, type unit for this. And you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 scenarios with it as well. Right, I'm coming to the chat now. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so you get... Seven scenarios of it. What about on standard? Do we get anything on standard? Okay, I think it's just to, uh, just career stuff. But yeah, Glasgow Subway 1980 DM. So just 1980s tube stock or subway stock, whatever the correct uh, word for it is. Anyway, um, let's have a look. Who have we got in chat? Uh, we have got uh, Trainmaster Ron, Jody, Mr. Adam, Sebastian, Para, uh, GTA. Main man, Daniel's trains, how is everybody doing? So I think we're going to start with the tutorial. So tutorial one, as I ain't got a clue how you drive these things. So let's get going. But yeah, the Glasgow subway is tiny. I mean, if you think the Bakerloo line on Train Sim World's tiny, look at this. It is, yeah, tiny. <laughs> Ranger of the DLC. Anyway. Good morning, let me explain how the main controls of this subway train operate. I will explain each control in turn and at the end I will provide you with the checklist to complete before we depart from the depot. It is essential that you also read the PDF product manual provided in your Steam folder. Okay, so you get a manual with it as well. We probably won't be able to check that when we're driving, but yeah. Oh, and you can also open the cab door. Look at that. Awesome. Right, let's do it. Oh, hello. The reverser has two main functions. It selects the direction of travel and also enables or disables automatic train operation. When driving this route, you cannot use the HUD reverser. It is for information only. Okay, so it's a bit like AP stuff. Hello, G Cook, how are you? <laughs> Stormy weather in the subway. Oh, C Permian, fair enough. Um, a is for forward travel using ATO, so just A for automatic. This can be selected when an auto permit is available. You guys might need to remember this as well. F is for forward travel in manual operation, ends for neutral, and well, R is for reverse. So A is automatic, and then the rest is, well, normal, I guess. Uh, let's scroll that down, that's it. Close window to continue. Uh, the parking brake, uh, the parking brakes are applied and released using two of the push button controls on the right hand side of the cabin they should be applied while you are changing cabins we will release the parking brakes now as we are in this cabin so that would be oh here so oh the saloon lights in the passenger areas of the train are also switched on and off using two of the push button controls on the right hand side of the cabin so the saloon lights uh, and then the headlights um yeah, so let's just use a sort of headlight controls there. So you get a nice tutorial of it. And it's essential that you can see your instruments clearly when you're driving. So that is the instrument lights. Uh, cab light. So yeah, it just tells you sort of where all the places are. So you can see the cab light there, headlights, stuff like that. And then the combined throttle. Uh, the combined throttle brake lever is divided into two zones. The upper half provides free power settings, shunt, series and parallel like the Bakerloo line. The throttle zone uh, controls how much power is provided to the ATO system. Uh, a lever should always be positioned foot forward at P and after selecting A on the reverse for auto mode. 
Hello Cole, uh, it's £20 I think Cook and it's out now, although the launch discount comes into effect at about 6pm. Train speed is automatically limited in both manual and auto driving modes as shown by the white indicator lamp so you can see them on their 18, 35 and 54 and the braking zone is used when driving in manual mode and is graduated from off to full application. So yeah, uh, we will try and drive it correctly. Uh, obviously, as this is literally my first look at it, we might be a bit rusty with it. So yeah, it's going good. Got my cup of tea as well, so we're all good to go. No, we're not having iron brew. Someone did say we should have iron brew with this, but I must admit, I'm, I'm not a big fan of iron brew. It's overrated. Hello, random person. Let's do that. Uh, and when using auto driving mode, the train will automatically navigate to the next station platform when auto start button is pressed. So that is there. There's the auto button where... Okay. Well, we'll try our best. Um, and when you're using it, we'll use that. Oh, currently at danger, you can only press the auto start buttons when this lamp has gone off and the line ahead is clear. Yeah, you guys are going to have to remember it as well. And all trains must be driven in manual mode from the depot to the first station at Govan or Ibrox, then again in manual mode when exiting the circles to return to the depot. Now set up your cabin as follows before proceeding uh, to depot line 1 where you will reverse the train, move the forward, or move the reverse to forward, uh, set your headlights to full, okay so all of that sort of stuff. Right, let's do it. 6am start, ooh. Oh yes, it's brilliant, Carl. Cup of tea gives you it, it's fuel. So we've got some of that. So set it to forward. Cheers, power. So it's a bit like AP stuff. So you, it, you know, or the hard won't actually, you know, it won't really do a lot. Um, headlights. So we get them to on. There you go, on. Headlights are on. Cab light. Do we need it on? Did it say we need it on? Well, we'll pop it on anyway. Um, parking brake off. Uh, saloon lights on. You can see it's on there now. And parking brake. Does it say on there? Parking brake off. Not too sure, but the doors are locked. Um, I think that was it, wasn't it? So we have to drive manual. Let's do it. Oh, horn. Oh, well, <laughs> sounds like a car horn, doesn't it? Govern, got your Scott Sim. Uh, what is it? Well, there is the. That. Right, well, let's get going. Let's hope it moves. Window as well. Probably a bit dangerous having it open in the tunnels. <gasps> we're off. We've, we've done something. Right, let's get that on as well. I don't know where, where we're going. Probably want to check the points as well. Just in case, seems like they're all good. So this is the map. Look at that, the Glasgow loop. Nice. Off we go. So was it two coaches? No, three coaches. What's this working? Kilometers or miles an hour? I think it's three miles an hour. I think the time and where metro's in kilometres an hour, isn't it? Oh yeah, I think we are in miles an hour for this. I know, it is kilometres an hour. I thought we were going up a bit quick. That's weird, kilometres an hour. Hello Sharma, how you doing? So we're going to depot line 1, which is over there. And then we're going to govern, and then Patrick Alter. Oh no, Partick. I thought I said Patrick there. Nice. Off we go. So you've got the usual sort of um, shunt signals. Yeah, this is the throttle here. So, PS, shunt off, brake. Yeah, so the brake has like a massive section on there. Oh, passenger view. Okay, no passenger view on this. Well, actually, I think with Thompson Interactive, sometimes it's... I think in the 350, it was an extended part of the cab view. Okay, maybe not on this one. Because if you haven't played the West Coast Mainline Trent Valley, there's actually announcements on it. Hello, Ryan. Okay, that's nice and easy to use. 
So we'll stop in here. Does anyone remember these trains? I don't think these ones are still in service, are they? I think it's newer ones now. There's the three. We've sort of gone past it a little bit there. There we go. Depot line one. Am I right that the discount kicks in at 6pm? Yes. Uh, at 6pm the 25% uh, off launch discount comes out. So I think it was some, some sort of confusion with um, Steam. So yeah, if you want to get 25% off, you need um, to wait until 6. Well done. Now return the reverse to lever to off and apply the parking brakes. After that, move to the rear cabin of the train and drive manually to Govan or Govan. Make sure the whole train is in the platform before opening the doors for passengers to board. Okay, well, we'll set that to, uh, I suppose, off. There you go, off. Uh, parking brake uh, on. Uh, headlights off, cab light off, and set that to off as well. So we should be able to change ends now. Let's get the get that that open. Yep, yep. close to me. <laughs> Probably not, Ron. Oh, this is still in service, is it? Oh wow, I thought it was slightly. New. I thought it was newer ones. And get the um, tail lights on, which are just there. There you go. Uh, and then we'll change to here. Get this one set up. So in the depot it has to be manual. So we'll set it to forward. Headlights go to on. And of course the cat now starts scratching on the door. Typical. Uh, instrument lights. Get them on. Um, tail lights off. Parking brake off. I suppose just click that just in case it did turn off. Right. Govern out. So we're going to be going into the tunnels. Let's go. We move. Hello, Noah. How are you? Oh, see, Scott. Oh, the new ones aren't in service yet. There we go. We're, we're away. Oh, hello. Oops. Uh, hang on. There we go. No one saw it. <laughs> Headlights are on. As we make our way out of uh, the depot. Yeah, she wants to come in again, Stepford. We have to wait. We're driving trains now. There's the uh, next station there. It's into the tunnel. Just open the cab door if you want, as you do. But yeah, I believe this route actually wasn't going to come. Uh, I believe it was only because of COVID that um, over his name is Alan decided to um, start working on another project. As from the article, it seemed like he um, actually had retired from sort of doing all of this sort of stuff. Obviously, COVID, everyone inside, not a lot else to do. He decided to come back and, well, do this. That's a little sort of personal project. Hello, Neil. Probably Ron, yeah. She's like, oh, wait, let me in. <laughs> Into the tunnel. In we go. It's usually a bit easier to see on train sim as opposed to TSW in terms of lighting. Well, we've got lights down here, which is quite nice. This is cool. Has anyone been on the Glasgow subway? And hello SNCF, apologies if you were in the Trovo chat. Ah, they're there. No, no, you're there, I'll, I'll check it. <laughs> well, yeah, so uh, that's there, yeah, because this is, yeah, exactly, Stepford. And speed up a bit. Wow, it really does speed up quick. Okay, whoa. Ho -ho. Let's be careful. So I don't really know what the brakes are like on this. As it is a underground, I'm guessing they're going to be pretty decent. Well, this is Govan. Hello, LWR. Oh, yes. Oh, awesome, Scott Sim. I was, I was thinking that at the start of the stream. I was like, what are people from Glasgow called? I was thinking, yeah, it's Glaswegian, isn't it? Yeah, Glaswegian. Right, here we are. Let's get the doors open. That's quite cool. So now inside the... It's not a very deep level tube, is it? Look at that, though. Let's get in the uh, free cam. You've got a map there of the... Um, 
of the route. So that's the inner circle, and on this side it's the outer circle. So Ibrox, Cessnock, Killing Park, Shields Road, West Street, Bridge Street, and St. Enoch, or St. Enoch. Nice, easy names to pronounce. <laughs> Right, as an auto permit is now available, you should move the reverser to A. Uh, so that's A. Uh, to select ATO mode, only after that is done, you need to push the throttle brake lever fully forward into notch P. When you're ready and the signal is clear, you may press an auto start button to proceed. So set that to parallel. Okay, we're all good. And the start button is there, isn't it? Right. Here we go. <laughs> it's Kelvin Bridge. I've been on it plenty of times, but not for 20 years. Moving to US put a stop to that. Fair enough. Right. Uh, was it you I saw at Eastbourne on a train a while back? Uh, probably a lookalike. Right. Here we go. Is it going to move? Oh, it's going. It's, it's going. Hands are off the controls. Does it break for us? I'm guessing it would break for us. I'll get the cab a lot on so you guys can see. And we are off. I'm hoping it does break for us. It does, cool. The sounds on here are brilliant, aren't they? That does sound really good. Oh, I like that. Right next to Queen Street, awesome. Listen to that, though, the sounds of the tunnel. Sounds really good. Probably have captured that underground feel. And sort of in the tunnels, tight corners, and oh, that's brilliant. That, that sound there, oh, that's that's great. So, is it gonna break for us? I mean, I'm guessing it would do, but oh, no, it is. There we go, it's starting to break now. Have a bit of that. And you got the PI, PA system as well. Next stop, Partick. Oh, that was brilliant. So, you've got like announcements on here as well. Let's do it again. Oh, it doesn't work now. Probably because we just did it already. Next stop, parting. Oh, there we go. Right, is it going to stop? Is it going to stop? Yes, yes, we're coming to a stop. This is brilliant. And... Oh, that was great, wasn't it? That was brilliant. And doors. So I think this is what they've got on the London Underground, haven't they? On the Victoria line, I think they've got ATO. Now that was cool. Do we need to do the? Shall we do the ATO tutorial? I mean, we've just literally just done the ATO, so well, we'll do it. We'll do it anyway. Might as well. Otherwise, something bad will happen. Yes, as we got a red ahead of us, we've got the um, auto early. That was great. Well done. You have completed the tutorial successfully. Now try the second tutorial that explains. Exiting the system to the depot. Okay, right, we'll do that then. Although I'd imagine it's probably just putting it back to forward, isn't it? Right, career, let's do the next one. So, returning to the depot. This is great. But yeah, um, wait until 6pm if you do want to get the launch discount. There was a little muck up with um, Steam and the timings. So, the launch discount, 25% off, should come in at... Uh, at six. Good evening. Your train is already in auto drive mode, and we will continue in automatic until we are ready to return to the depot. Open the train doors to, now to allow passengers to board the train. Then press the auto start button to proceed to your next station at Ibrox. Now Ibrox isn't that where Rangers play, don't they? Was that in Edinburgh? No, that is Glasgow. See, I don't know Scotland football teams that well. Um, no, I think that is that's Rangers, isn't it? Ibrox. I don't want to muck it up as I know what the rivalry is like between Celtic and Rangers. If I say the them in Celtic stadiums, Ibrox, I know people are going to be unhappy. But I think it is the Rangers one, Ibrox, isn't it? I think. Apologies if I got that wrong. <laughs> right, so we're in automatic at the moment, so we're all good. Pretty cool though, isn't it? So you got the... Uh... Next stop, Ibrox. With a Scottish accent as well. Next stop, Ibrox. Ibrox. <laughs> Ibrox is Rangers. Ah. Hello, James. Well, let's not get into Celtic and the old firm derby here. Because it probably will uh, create heated tensions in the chat. <laughs> so I'd imagine we probably do have quite a few Glaswegians in the chat. 
Oh, I see GTA. Hello, Amanda. Yeah, Foxy, you've been a bit weird about you hate projects. Uh, I don't know if that's... Uh, maybe you're in a bot, I don't know. <laughs> now press the auto start button to proceed to iBlox. <laughs> How much is it? 20 quid, I believe, and a 25% discount comes into effect at 6pm, so 19 minutes. Right, ready? Let's get going. Start. It's like the cutest little subway system in the world, isn't it? Right, off we go. The third oldest as well. There's not ranges anymore. Off we go. Let's get the cab light on so you guys can see slightly better. What music do I like? 80s music. Phil Collins. Uh, brilliant. Don't like modern music. All rubbish. Well, not all of it, but most of it. I like old stuff. Show us GTA. You found a good asset for Heathrow Central. Awesome. This is brilliant so far. I'm enjoying this. And yeah, this is done by Thompson Interactive, which if you don't know uh, who he is, um, done West Coast Mainline, Trent Valley, very good route. The Benina Line. The service is terminating here at Ibrox. Oh, Ibrox. <laughs> Hello, Reese. How are you? Yes, on the Trent Valley route, um, Benina Line, or Benina Pass. Brilliant. Right, here we are. Let's get the doors open. This train terminates here. The service is terminating here at Ibrox. Ibrox. Here we are. Oh, let's go in that view. But look how tiny. I mean, just compare this to London Underground. Tiny this is. You can barely stand up in it. I mean, how crowded does the Glasgow subway get? Is it like a really busy sort of underground or... We no longer have a valid auto permit as we are returning to the depot. You must now return train operation to manual mode. First, move the throttle back uh, to full brake application. as supposed to make it jump forward, which we don't want going on. So set that back to full brakes. What, emergency or... Okay, full. Only after that is done, you need to return the reverse lever to F. Okay, so that's fairly easy then. Right, there we go. So we're now on... Okay, that's our speed as well. Okay, well, that's fairly easy. So we're now in manual mode. <laughs> it is Permian, yeah. Let's go. It's busy around the city centre. Very crowded. A queue. Gets packed on match days. Did I hear that the new trains are driverless? I remember someone come in before and said, uh, I think the Glasgow sub with the new trains are going to be driverless. Well, I suppose it's such a tiny route, isn't it? It practically already is driverless on this bit. The ATO. Oh, have I upset it? I think I upset it. Oh no. Oh, okay, so it brings the speed down for us. Well, we probably should have come down anyway, but. Okay, that's not too bad. So it's now 15. Oh, I see. T no, I've no, never heard of them. Well, I might have, but I'm not good with names. That's all good, uh, Decker. I'm all good. We've got Rockstar uh, saying he doesn't like you still, Project. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if he's a bot. I don't know. Uh, the new trains will be driverless, but at first they will have drivers. Uh, I don't like driverless things. Probably because I want to be a train driver. <laughs> um, yeah, driverless things, uh it is power, yeah. Maintenance, ah, oh, I see. So pretty much like a supervisor then. A bit like the DLR has at times. You get sort of someone at the front sort of just making sure I think it's all good. Hello, Luke. Yeah, Foxy, I'm going to give you a warning, mate, because, yeah, there's no need to say you hate projects when he <laughs> has done nothing at all. So, yeah. Just a warning, mate. But yeah, big thanks to Dovetail Gamers for giving us the code to show this off. So far, I'm loving it. It's great. Well, I've never, I've never, I've not really seen much on the Glasgow subway. I mean, you know, a couple of videos, and that's about it. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. Oh, I see, Cole. Let's 
look at that. Oyster card broke. Ouch. So this, yeah, we're going into the depot now. Look at that though, it's a little tiny train. The cutest little subway system in the world. And also one of the oldest. I think the third oldest in the world. What's the second oldest then? The New York subway? Or maybe the Paris one? Yeah, what's the second oldest in the world? I think it is the New York subway, isn't it? Hello Miranda, how are you? And yeah, a little reminder, tomorrow we're doing a nine hour stream on uh, Train Sim World on East Coast Way and the Brighton Main Line uh, raising funds for Red Paracressa, which are an autism uh, awareness uh, charity. So we're doing that tomorrow. Yeah, no, yeah, Decker, is it? It's to take, I mean, you know, they're all about, you know, we need more jobs and then they're making stuff drive this. Now turn the reverser lever to off and apply the parking brakes. Uh, after that, move to the rear cabin of the train and drive manually to the depot. Okay, well we can do that. So set that to off. Headlights. We'll get them. Yeah. Okay. Right. That. They go off. Cab light goes off. Tail lights on. Parking brake. Uh, on. And set that to whoa full. I think. Okay, well let's uh, actually off. Where's off? Off. Off. Right, let's switch ends. The Tokyo subway. Oh. Hello, Laser Jet. How are you? Right, let's switch to that side. Um, so, yeah, do pay attention to the tutorials on this one. As if you've got AP packs, it's similar to that. The way if you do this, you know, it won't do a lot. Um, it's more for you know just to see what way you're going once you have got it set. So yeah, make sure you do the tutorials. Or if you already know how to operate, then yeah, go and do it. But yeah, it's a bit of that AP stuff. So quite detailed, and you can't use just the HUD. Right. Um, get them off. Uh, headlights dim. I think it was dim in the depot, wasn't it? Uh, parking brake off. And let's go. So it's in kilometres an hour as well. Oh, hello. Okay, we're all good. Right. I wonder where that goes over there. Does the depot link to like a mainline track? Yeah, Foxy, one last warning. Sort of weird comments towards project for doing nothing. Yeah, last warning, mate. Here we've got 67 people in, so thanks all for coming in. Yeah, checking out the Glasgow subway. When everything's automated, there'll be no way of making money, so they'd be looting everywhere behind me. It's a little, yeah, horn slash whistle. Brilliant. Got a little tiny little car over there, just on its own, a little coach. So coming into the depot, depot line 14. Alright, oh, Foxy. Budapest Hungary is the second oldest. Alright. Oh, right. oh. I've got to work there. Hello, he's waving at me. Wave back. He is waving. What do you want? Do you want me to stop? Okay, we're going into the wash. I'll wave back. Hello. <laughs> right, we're going into the wash, which probably means we need to... Oh, look at that. It opened up. The door opened up to go in. This is really detailed. Just little tiny things to make it just great. Oh, I see. Yeah, Birmingham. Uh, it does a little bit, Miss Adams, doesn't it? And it's a tube train, so it doesn't really need like a proper horn to it. No, this is not the end. We're going to do a run round the circle and just chill out. I mean, this is the last stream of tonight, as tomorrow we're doing a nine hour stream. So, probably go, I don't know, we'll just work through and see how we get on. Hello, 
Another thing, engineers actually willing to make things that are going to take their jobs if I'm an engineer. <laughs> Fair enough, bots are now superior. Hello Craig, there he is. Oh, let's, uh, let's come to a stop. I don't know why I called him Craig, just a random name. And the door shut as well, look at that. Right, depot line 14. We made it. It does look a good route, yeah. Right, well done. You have completed this tutorial successfully. I hope you enjoy driving on the Glasgow subway. That was good, wasn't it? Right, let's uh, come out of that. Close that case has been let in, so get ready for carnage. Yeah, you get to eat during it, Cole. Right. Career. What one should we do next? So here we go, right in front of the... She's making her appearance. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. What one should we do? Inner circle... Uh, come on, over there. There we go. Yeah. Let's um. Let's do the 40-minute one. And... Oh, it's a manual mode challenge. Let's do an inner circle. Um. Okay, you have to go to the depot anyway. Let's do that. In we go. I love the artwork though for uh, TS Classic. Good afternoon. Today your train will form a service 11 on the inner circle. Prepare your train and drive in manual mode to depot line 1 where you will change cabins and reverse to the, your first station stop at Ibrox. Okay, let's do that. Do the red one. Right, let's uh, set this up then. So we are manual, so we're going to forward. Uh, headlights. Oh, actually, that tail lights are off. Put that to dim as we're in the depot. Parking brake. Off, so the tutorials are nice and easy to follow. I mean, we now know how to drive this. So, yeah. Tutorials are nice and easy to follow. Right. Let's go. Yeah, it's in kilometres an hour. Open the door as well if you want. It's probably the most silliest thing to do when we're moving. Sure is, Decker, yeah. Off we go. Look at that. A very unique route to um, to the game. Brilliant though. Gotta love sort of the unique routes. So going into there I think. Looks like another London Underground. Well, this is, uh, I think originally this was called the Glasgow Underground. Obviously, this, the, to distinguish it, I think it's now that works the Glasgow subway now. Although, I wonder why the orange colour. I mean, iron brews orange. Because <laughs> of that. <laughs> yeah, why the orange colour? Or is that just you know, the random colour they chose when making the subway? Oh, that's brilliant, bus and train. How are you doing? Right, probably going to come to a stop before we hit the buffers or oh, well not even the buffer just hit the light and go through the fence into someone's garden right let's um get this shut down then so okay right get that off uh get them off set the tail lights to on set that to off set that to off no not 10 percent off off uh move to the other cabin uh, parking brake on, and let's switch ends. Oh, uh, shift L, I should get it off. There. Right, let's switch ends. There you go, we switched ends. Uh, so, parking brake off. Uh, set that to forward, as we are in the depot, so it needs to be done manually. Headlights to dim. Don't want the tail lights on, so I don't know why they've come on. Okay. Oh, no, we're all good. Um, right. Let's go. And we're off. Ibrox in there. Hello, Everest. Uh, the old SPT network. Ah, yes. Yeah, because you get the, was it the Strathclyde network, which was all orange. And we're driving the 314 on here, the orange one. How do I get it? It's on the Steam store and the 25% discount should come in very soon, in about 5 minutes. 
That man seems a bit scary. <laughs> um, I am checking Trovo chat S and CF. Obviously not as not as much though. It's orange. Ah. If you get central is too hard, you're gonna do terminal five now. Oh awesome power. Right into the tunnel. And the speed is still eighteen. And 35 and 54. Once we get down to Ibrox, we can turn on the ATO. wonder if that works now. Oh, it does. Hang on. I cannot. No, it did. It just it did something there. Well, that's probably not really meant to work at the moment, as we're not actually in the passenger service. Ah, uh, see, Mermaid. Is it similar to the Bakerloo line tube stop to drive? Well, in manual, well, yeah. But obviously, once you get an ATO, that's sort of a level up. So, I mean, that's automatic. Round we go. Cool. But yeah, tomorrow we're doing nine hours on Train Sim World from 9.30 to 6.30. I'm all well, good, Daniel. Hopefully, you're all well. I mean, bright and ace. Yeah, we're on the inner circle, we are. Ibrox ain't too far. So once we get to Ibrox, we can change into automatic mode. Well, I suppose you probably could do it on the move. But we won't risk it, though. There you go, speed up. The sounds are really... The sounds are top notch on here. Well, sort of that tube, you know, the noise of the tunnel, the tracks, and yeah, the sounds are pretty spot on. Right, coming up to uh, Ibrox now. If you want to slow down a bit more than that, don't want to get a uh, overshoot. That'd be a bit embarrassing already. Fair enough, Daniel. What is the ATO automatic train operation? Right, this is Ibrox. Here we go, got people like dancing on the platform. And stop there. Here we are, this is Ibrox. Right, we can get the automatic train control on now. So that has to be on full. We can now set that to auto. We should, well, it should now be on auto. So we then set that to the P position. Don't roll forward. There. Hello, 156. Oh, awesome. Right, we now have a ATO on the desk. I think we've already done that. So, uh, yeah, we've already done that. Cool. So you got the auto permit. Why does it say the tail lights on? It's not on. I don't want the headlights to go off. I don't want that to... Hang on. Tail light's not on, is it? No, tail light's off. Right, so. let. This is the fun bit. Ready? Start. The train will do it. I'm not touching anything, and off we go. Right, we are off. It says knock next. That's how you say it. Kez knock, I don't know how you do say it. We are off, we're on our way. Proper captures that underground feel, though, doesn't it? And that quick, that's good. It's good. Very enjoyable so far. So all the stations are obviously fairly close to one another as it is a subway. How though? What's well, automatic train operation? Doesn't in the name it. it. It's magic. Right, so it should start slowing down. Look at 50. Wow, we're really coming into quick. Oh, whoa, look at this. Oh no. I oh, know the train. No, no, we're all good. Oh, that was quick coming into the station, wasn't it? Oh, we're all good, though. We're all good. Right. And then doors, we have to do... 
That's brilliant. Oh. That compressor sounds there. So we've got Cessnock, Killing Park, Shields Road, West Street, uh, Bridge Street, St. Enoch and Buchanan. Uh, and then Cal Caddens, St. George's Cross, Kelvin Bridge, Shields Road, West Street, Bridge Street, St. Enoch Inner, Buchanan Street Inner. Are we go I think we're going right around a couple of times. Okay, let's just get on with it. Right, start. Off we go, the train will drive itself. That was fast, yeah, Rassens went flying. Right, off we go. And we should be able to use the PA system, ready? Killing Park, next stop. There you go. Killing Park, next stop. I don't know if it is actually uh, Alan Tom... Uh, Alan. Yeah, I don't know if it is Alan Thompson. Who is obviously the founder of Thompson Interactive. Awesome coal. Right, look how fast it comes into the stations. <laughs> Flying in. And come to a stop. It is cool, mermaid. And for any route mappers, I will show the route. Here's the route. So it's it's, it's a circle. It's a Glasgow subway. So we're going all the way around, and I think then in to the depot. We wait. Yeah, sit back and relax. You've got it, Mr. Adams. Shall we open the window? Or is that a bit naughty? <laughs> a bit loud then. Right, let's wait for the doors to shut and then hit start. We've got the clear signal. You could, that's not showing. So let's go. Right. Click that. Off we go. The train is driving itself. Glasgow subway is completely underground. Yeah, apart from the depot, though. That's like the Victoria line. Let's do the uh, PIS. Or the PA, I mean. Shields Road, next stop. Shields Road, next stop. Shields Road, next stop. That's that, uh, Andrew. Off we go. So, yeah, you have got announcements on here as well, pretty much. Next stop, Shields Road. And quite a few variations of it as well. Shoot road, next stop. <laughs> they have to keep through the window. Whoa, we're coming right to a stop here. No, no, the speed's just come down to 35 round here. It does loop, doesn't it? Well, it's very similar, it's just smaller. So we're going to go around the corner? Or, whoa, look at the, look at the grade here. That's like right up. Look at that. That is really steep. I don't know what it says down there, but look at that. Coming up into here. Me too, Craigie. Shields Road. That's coming down. Not too bad, is it? Not too bad at all. Um, T, the door's open. How fast is the lap? I'm not too sure, AC. Anyway, in comments, how far, how fast, well, how long does it take to get round the loop? Fair enough, Norwich. Fair enough. See you, quick thanks for coming in. Couldn't resist with a great discount of twenty five percent. Yes, it's twenty five percent off uh, with the launch discount. Moderator off. Goodbye. See you, and see you. Thanks for coming in, mate. Let's go, ATO back on, and we're off. Now we do the announcement as well. Next stop, West Street. Yeah, I'm all good, uh, Nigel. I feel all well. It does, uh, Andrew, yeah, quite a bit of speed on this. It's back up to 55. So what's 55 kilometers an hour? About 30, 40 miles an hour? About 40 miles an hour? Around we go, the speed's just come down. 
the hair's proper steep. Foxy, I think that's your last warning. Daniel, stop Foxy out. Right, let's um. Next stop, West Street. Next stop, West Street. Here we are. No, Alexa, not you. There you go. Here we are. Look how fast we're coming in, though. Wow, you have to have proper hold on. You can hear the rain as well. I'm guessing this one is quite close to surface. I can hear the rain really... Oh, that's why. Whoa. That's why we probably hear it quite well. That probably is a sound issue there. About 15 miles out of... Oh, wow. Okay, so it's... Bit more than what I thought then. Fifteen miles the outer circle. I thought it was yeah, I thought it was much smaller. Okay, that is quite a big uh circle then. I thought it was much smaller than that. This is a BA proof train if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Off we go, Bridge Street next. So when do we go under the river? I'm guessing that's here. Hence the you know, the wet next station is Bridge Street and then we go straight under. Up Bridge Street. Off. This is brilliant, though, isn't it? Really, really good. Hats off to Thompson Interactive. I don't know what it's like in real life, but it really does capture that feel of uh, an underground route. Next stop, Bridge Street. There we are, Bridge Street. How fast the train comes in. Feels dangerous. Citizens Theatre. Right, doors. And yeah, that rolling there, it, that's just a TS thing. Uh, apparently if it stops going, the game would crash. Well, that, yeah, the train rolling forward really slightly, that's just it. That's to stop the game crashing. I don't know exactly why it has to do that, but yeah, it's a TS thing. I don't think on every train it does it. But most of them it does. Right, let's get going. At least that's what Mr. Burgess told us. Can you ride this train all day without ever getting off? You probably could. Uh, I'm not too sure, Norwich. We'll have to see once we get to the depot, because then we'll be outside. Yeah, I think that's uh, yeah, I think that's it there. Yeah. Oh. That's okay. Yeah, I think I think uh, Daniel clicked on the wrong wrong person there. So you're all good, Andrew. You're all good. <laughs> there we go. Cheers, Daniel. Right, coming into Saint Enoch. Oh, we should do the announcement. There you go. Here we are. This is St. Enoch. Slightly more gentle stop into this one. Do the doors. Evening, Kenny. This sure is the Glasgow Underground. How you doing, Kenny? Look at that. I mean, look at the grade there, just on the platform. I love the little car horn on the front. Yeah, so we've got Buchman, Buchanan Street, Cal Cadence, George's Cross, Kelvin Bridge, Hillhead, Kelvin Hall. Lots of Kelvin, isn't it? Kelvin Bridge. He owns a lot, Kelvin. And Partick. Right. Uh, Jeff did a vid a few years ago. Sure did. Right, let's go. An ATO on. But yeah, this is... Um, there's a 25% discount at the moment on Steam, so that would make it... Fifteen pounds, I believe. If it was twenty-five percent off, is it's twenty quid? So yeah, 20, fifteen quid or so on Steam for this. How you doing, Kenny? And off we go. <laughs> awesome, Kenny. Yeah, this is on Train Simulator. TS Classic. Right, let's do the announcer. 
Buchanan Street, next stop. Let's do it again. Next stop, Buchanan Street. There's another one. There you go, Buchanan Street. And stop. So it sort of comes in really quick, slows right down, and then finally is a bit more gentle coming into the station. You're still there, Andrew, mate. I think it's letting you message again. Very wealthy cotton merchant in the 19th century. Ah. And we wait. Look like an elevator there. This is fire door, but it's like an elevator. I suppose it probably goes through and then goes somewhere. Right, let's get going. Uh, press the start button. Start. Let's hold it. There you go. That's better. And off we go. It is Cal Cadden's next. You're holding on for dear life. Fair enough. Cal Cadden's next stop. There you go. And we're off. But yeah, it's in kilometres an hour on this. Cool. But yeah, who's been on the Glasgow subway here? Obviously, I, I haven't. Who has? Yeah, it should be all good. I would imagine so, Power, yeah. Well, um, Alan actually did say, you know, it seemed really sort of futuristic back in the... Uh, 70s slash 80s when ATO did come into into effect uh, from the interview which um, Dovetail did but yeah coming up to Cal Cadden's let's do the announcer again Cal Cadden's next stop there you go We've got 90 people in, so thanks all for coming in. <laughs> What's this stop going to be like? Got quite a grade coming up here. It's like a roller coaster, isn't it? So we're going right up there and straight back down. I have it so claustrophobic. And here we are. They're having a good time. Look at them smiles on their faces. Here we are. Do the doors. Yeah, cow cans. There's the compressor sound. Every weekend of my life in my twenties. Awesome, Kenny. Awesome blue order. They look very happy, don't they? They're pointing at the train like he's like, "Oh, that train's brilliant there." Or oh, we're gonna sit there. She's like, "Yeah, go on." <laughs> or is he pointing at the other woman? I don't know. It almost seems like he's pointing at the other woman. Uh, okay, let's get out of there. Uh, right, press that. And off we go. I'd say so, Reese. Yeah, plenty of content on it. Plenty of content. Right, St George's Cross next. Let's do the announcer. Next stop, St George's Cross. There you go. I don't know, Norwich. Never been on it. It's a bit slow along here, as you can see. This is the speed on here. It's 18, 35, 54. It's a bit of a slow bit here, I'm guessing any second that's going to shoot up, as it's a straight line. Well I guess, maybe that thing there's the thing for it, there we go. Off we go. AP sounds, well this is no Allen, uh, well Thompson Interactive sounds. That's he permeated. And you get the front door open as well, look, are they all a bit dangerous, but there, <laughs> you can get that open. Oh my god. <laughs> Does Glasgow have an equivalent coronation street? There you go, AC has said the question. Uh, up to you, ladies shit. Maybe start Birmingham, fairly centre. Or maybe even start in Ireland. Next stop, St George's Cross. That's St George's Cross. You're enjoying your train ride, awesome, Mr. Adams. He had a really big smile on his face there. Called River City. Here we are. It's a Clyde River, isn't it? What goes through uh, Glasgow. 
In theory, even it's good on sort of the uh, well, Kelvin Bridge Deli. He even owns a blooming deli. Kelvin Bridges Deli. <laughs> He'll head holidays. What else we got? Highlands Brew. It's Fizzy Man. Some sort of iron brew equivalent, I guess. The Patrick Pie Pub. Only two minutes from Partick Underground. There's a map there, which is very, you know, that's pretty good res. So you can read that very well. Visit Glasgow. Anyway, let's get back in. And let's get going. It's great. Kelvin Bridge next. The first of the Kelvin 18 stops. Next stop, Kelvin Bridge. Kelvin Bridge. Off we go. Oh, awesome, Jody. And the subway passes under the Clyde twice. I suppose on each way, isn't it? It's on the circle. How you doing, Chris? Off we go. Yeah, we do stream Train Sim World every single day, and we've been doing plenty of Train Simulator recently. So if you do want to see more, feel free to subscribe. It all does help out. Heading up, I suppose, 10k now. As we're getting close to the station, let's do that again. Next stop, Kelvin Bridge. Here we are, Kelvin Bridge. Oh yeah, well, I keep saying blooming Patrick. Partick, Daddy, yes. <laughs> I guess in Patrick Deli. And here we are. Doors. There we go. Here we are. I hear rain. There's the rain. It's utter rubbish. Don't really watch any of the soaps. Never have really. There's our guy there. He's enjoying his uh, wobbling about quite a bit, isn't he? He's enjoying driving. We've got a timelessness penalty there. Right, let's go. Kelvin Bridge. Hello, Francois. How are you? Hope you're all well. And off we go. Patrick is oh, This is the widest platform on the system. <laughs> Not very wide then, are they? Let's right, Hillhead next. You've got a fair few stops. Kelvin Hall, Party, Govern, and then back up to the depot. And then we'll do another service on the outer, uh, outer line. <laughs> right, here we go. Hillhead, next stop. Yeah, he'll head next stop. And we'll do it once we get a little bit closer. Quite steep the gradient, isn't it, coming up here? I'm just going to slope into it. Coming up to it. Let's do that again. Next stop, he'll head. He'll head. Yeah, look at this coming up here. This is he'll head. You probably whiz into those stations, don't you? And here we are. This is Hillhead. So you can see the stations we got there uh, got left. So I think we're going to Govan, and then we're going to be going up into the depot. Cool. Well, it says we had a new member, but who was a new member? Thanks to whoever did become a member. I don't know if it has popped up yet. It says new member one, but I can't see it on there. Well, thanks to whoever did become a member. Much appreciated. Right, doors are closing, and it is Kelvin Hall next. Let's go. Hillhead is the west end of Glasgow's MAN shopping, a re Bites Road, and Glasgow University. Oh, I see, yeah, uh, as well. Awesome. So probably quite a busy station then. So <laughs> Glasgow's best pubs. Fair enough, Fermian. See you, Oscar. Thanks for coming in. Good luck with the practical. 
What about Kelvin Hall? What's that station like? Really steep there. I guess we're going back under the river. Kelvin Hall, next stop. Yeah, you can pick this up on Steam now. Uh, and I believe the launch discount of 25% should now be active. So if you want to get it, probably the best time is now, as it will be, well, a 5 or less. And it's already cheap. Here we are. They all look very happy, don't they? Look at them. Having a great time. This is out now. Buyer's Road, rather. Yes, yeah, it's out now, Andy, mate. Hello, John. So if you enjoyed the Met line, Andy, which I think you did, you probably like this. Uh, so what's next? we got... Actually, let's look at the map. We've got Partick next, and then go Govan. Govan, Govan. And then we'll do an outer service after this. So how long does it take, then, to do a full service? Um... 13.05 to... It's about 35, 40 minutes. Um. Right, let's get going. Press the start button. And off we go. The train drives it for us. They used to indoor athletics at the Kelvin Hall. Not sure if they still do. I guess it's quite a big uh, hall then. Fair enough, I mean, This was before the refurbishment in 2014. Yeah, you get train announcements on here. Let's do one of the announcements now. Partick next stop. There you go, Partick next stop. We are off. Yeah, a bit of air conditioning, there you go, you can have the door open. Obviously very dangerous, don't do that <laughs> as we're going along. And here is, is Partick. Look at the speed coming into the station though. Especially with the short platforms, I mean, you, you're coming at about 30 miles an hour. There you go. Which feels quick when it's a tiny platform. Nice quick go, just going to write Romeo and Juliet response in a kit. Nice quick go. Oh, in a minute. There it is. So we got uh, Govern after this. And then up to the depot. Yeah, I didn't realise it was 16 miles the outer circle and 15 miles the inner circle. I thought it was great. Um, no, I thought. Great. I thought it was much smaller. Yeah, I didn't actually think the Glasgow subway was there yeah, as long as it is. I thought it was like 20 minutes going around the loop, not even that. There, enjoying it. It's great fun. Sure is, Kenny. Right, so I'm guessing this is where we go back under the river. Looks like it, at least. We're going right down here and then straight back up. Very quick, yeah. Okay, speeding up again now. You can go out for a strong 55 kilometers an hour. Partick is an interchange with the main line station on the uh, North Clyde line and the bus station. Also front to us is for the uh, local uh, local knowledge. Awesome stuff. Biggest city in Scotland. Uh, no, okay. It was part of English language, I passed it, so I forget stuff on it. <laughs> GCSE. Here we are, this is Govan. Look at the look at the grade here. The service terminates here oh. Govan. Please leave the train. There we go, please leave the train. That actually did it automatically there. Let's do it again. Next stop, Govan. Okay, there's next stop, Govan. Here we are, this is Govan. The service terminates here at Govan. Please leave the train. Love where you get announcements though. Uh, Thompson Interactive have done some brilliant routes. My personal favourite being, well, at the West Coast Mainline Trent Valley from Rugby to Stanford, I think it is. Oh, I see a quick oh, I passed it, so I've got it. <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, up to the depot now. Depot line two. So, we need to change it to manual now, don't we? So we set that to, let's set that to full, oh, not emerge, let's set it to full. Uh, set that to forward. 
So we should now be in manual mode. And to the depot. So now we drive ourselves. You do come in very quick. Uh, no Permian, no. I did chemistry, physics and biology. Pass them, and the only one I can really remember quite well is biology. Others, uh, the others wasn't really interested in. So yeah, we're coming off here and going back up to the depot. And then what we'll do is we'll do the other scenario, which is the outer service. So pretty much just going the opposite direction. Brakes seem a bit unrealistic as how quick it stops. Well, it's a subway train, so the brakes probably are very good. I don't know. Uh, people who have been on this train in real life, are the brakes a bit too harsh? Or is that how it is realistically? Probably no edge, yeah. Well, I believe, uh, I believe his name is Alan. Uh, I think the reason why I did do this one is because of, well, COVID. So I couldn't go out. I believe he was supposed to retire in early 2020. Uh, from This is from the interview, uh, which Dovetail did with uh, with Alan. Let's get the wipers on quick. Uh, quickly, wipers. So I believe he was actually supposed to sort of retire and stop doing this sort of stuff. But as COVID come along, everyone was inside. Couldn't really do a lot else. So he decided to put together the Glasgow subway. As I believe is terminating here at Govan. As I believe this is his local, well, this is his city, his local subway. So why not? Uh, foundation, quick go. Okay. As long as you get a pass, that's all good. So yeah, we're going to go into there, then reverse back, well, change ends and go into the main depot over there. Typical, now it's stopped raining. <laughs> as soon as I put the wipers on. Right, where are the wiper buttons uh, Buttons on here? Probably over here, aren't they? Uh, wipers. I don't know where they are. Wipers. Where are the wiper buttons? Oh, there. Just a little lever. And there's a seven blimmin' egg. Now let's pop that down. There's the freight. Seems fairly accurate to me. The trains come into the station really quickly, so yeah, I mean it's a subway, isn't it? So it would come in very quickly and then go very quickly. Right, so switch ends. Let's get this side shut down. So set that to off. Set that to off. Um let's get that. Oh, well done. Now move to the rear cabin and return to the depot parking in line 14. But yeah, really enjoying this. Um, that's on. Cab light off. Uh, parking brake on. And let's um, let's switch ends. Once the cab light off. Yeah, cab light's off. Right, switch ends. Oh, not that one. There. Fair enough, Permit. Evening, Gordon. How are you? Does the third rail spark? We shall check it. Um, right, part, uh, get that off. Set that to manual. Headlights to dim when you're in the depot. Dim. Get that off as well. Oh, not that. No, we're all good. Um, and instrument lights on. Right. Let's get going. We've got the uh, calling on signal there. Third rail spark. We can have a look. Um, where is the shoe on here? Well, where's the shoe? There it is. If you see sparks, then yeah, then there's third rail spark. Ah, oh, secret guy. Okay. Into depot line 14. Yeah, I don't think so, uh, Norwich. 
Can we go? I love the way you actually go into the um, into the depot, like into the you know main area. Uh, sure did, Quicko. Well, I think Thompson Interactive is just Alan. So yeah. So 18. And yeah, we'll do the outer circle after this. And then once we've done that, I think that will be it. But yeah, tomorrow we are doing nine hours on Train Sim World 2 uh, across East Coastway and the Brighton Main Line. So that will be tomorrow's one and only stream. And we'll be raising funds for an autism awareness charity, Red Power Cressor. Hey, Exploring Adventures, welcome to Stand Class, mate. Welcome back. Cheers, uh, exploring. All right, let's slow that down. It's usually through washes. You have to go slow. Look, that opens up. That's brilliant. Cool. There is a new member. There sure is. All right, coming into, coming into here. Here we go. Hello, he's waving. Wave back. Here we are. We are in the uh, in the depot. I mean that for a TS thing or for a TS route that opening up. I mean I've not seen that before on a TS route. But you actually see you know, the door opening up and you can go go through. And you should shut it shut in a second. And just little details, you know, make it feel much more real. That should then close. Well, I think so. I saw it close before. There you go. Look at that. He's done really well with this, uh, Alan. I pop that down. Here we are. This is depot line 14. So that should be the end of that scenario. You get seven scenarios with this route, although two of them are tutorials. So I suppose five, which is the standard for uh, uh, TS routes. Well, and TSW ones as well. So you get plenty to do, and I'm sure there'll be lots on the workshop as well. There you go. See ya, Kenny. Thanks for uh, coming in, mate. Got a bit of driving done. Ooh. Well, enjoy your racing. Good luck with it. Uh, do you think Hove could ever come to TSW Brighton Mainland? Well, that's part of the West Coast way. And I think on Train Simulator, it's only with South London to Brighton. So, not, not even on the main one on there. So, that would probably come with the West Coast way, if we saw that. Right, let's do the Outer Circle service. Um, so, return from Brimlam Depot around the Outer Circle. Let's do that's another 40 minutes one. So this will be the opposite way around. You've never had a welcome to membership message in the chat for renewing my membership before. But now you have. <laughs> Good morning. Today your train will form service 14 on the outer circle. Prepare your train and drive in manual mode to depot line 2 where you will change cabins and reverse down to govern. Be careful to slow down on approach and ensure that the whole train is in the platform at govern before opening the passenger doors. Let's do it. Let's get it set up. Um, so we'll set that to forward. You have to be in manual mode in the in the depot. Fair enough, Permian. Get the parking brake off. Saloon lights on. Then the passengers aren't in darkness. When we do let them on. Uh, set that to dim. Uh, can I? Okay, pop that on. Well, that one's off as well. I'm guessing we might have to wait for that. Look, look at the thing opening up. Oh yes, nine hours. We've done it. We did it on. We actually did it on the Glasgow. We did it on the Cathcart Circle on Train Sim World. So we did eight hours. Uh, and then we did it back in October on the uh, Brighton Main Line on Train Sim World. But yeah, nine hours. We're doing that tomorrow. See you, Permian. Thanks for coming in. And it's Craig again, like waving us out. Let's wave back. See ya. And he's just waved at us. What a brilliant route. Well, we are clear though, we've got the uh, signal. So I'm guessing that's probably going into depot line one. Yeah, so we'll be switching between East Coastway and the uh, Brighton Main Line. It's so slightly different to last time. Also, in one month today, I'll receive my 12 month membership badge. Awesome exploring. And also, we will be giving away an Xbox Rush Hour uh, Deluxe Edition code. So, yeah, we're doing that tomorrow. Hello Alex, how are you? 
And also I might pick up a PC code for Train Sim World. Now we can also give that away tomorrow. When will you be on this DLC again? Well, probably fairly soon, but it won't be tomorrow, as we're doing nine hours on the Brighton Main Line and East Coastway. Uh, probably weekend. Ah, uh, see, quicko. You've got to be patient, mate. I'm sure they're getting lots of tickets about certain things, so, yeah, you've got to be patient, mate. Now <laughs> watch out for the... Uh... Oh, hello. Oh. No, that was the other train. Hello Alex, you're saving up for this game, awesome. Well, if you're saving up for this route, it's 25% off at the moment. So I don't know if you would be able to buy the route without owning the game. Obviously it just wouldn't work, because you wouldn't have the game. But yes, 25% off the route at the moment. On the launch discount. Which I'd say, yes, most definitely worth it. I mean, the amount of... Uh, yeah, there's things you get on here. Well, it's a busy company, Coco, mate. There we go. And whack that down. There we go. After your stream, I'm going to watch Jeff's new video on rebuilding of Gatwick Airport. Ooh, that'll be a good one. Luke, I'll go and watch that as well after this. Um, right, parking brake on. Um, headlights off, tail lights. That's already on, apparently. Yeah, that's all good. Set that to off. Oh, well done. Now move to the rear cabin and drive the train to the first passenger stop at Govan. So that's off. And switch ends. Oh, instrument lights as well. Let's do that. Let's switch to the other side. Uh, set that to, and yeah, it's a bit like a if you if uh, if you're familiar with AP packs, it's similar to that in terms of the way you control the train. It's much more uh, TSW like, where you have to actually you know find the thing and move it. Because if if I do that, see, it doesn't do anything. It sort of glitches out and doesn't know what to do. So you actually have to do it. Um, well, you have to find the thing and move it manually. Um, tail lights off, no, off, and headlights to dim. Um, instrument lights on, and I think we're all good. Get that off. We got the green, so let's get going. Yeah, this is great so far. How much is it to become a channel member? Uh, one ninety nine. Yeah, one ninety nine the standard class now first class members get to sit in the cab with me on this one <laughs> it's probably a bit of a squish but we can do it right off we go look at that govern out to next just going to keep an eye out just in case that other train is in the way of us, although I'm guessing that's probably going uh, the other way, so going on the inner circle. There, yeah, we've got 75 people, and can we try and get up to 75 likes? That'd be great. Hello, Bronx. Shout out to everyone from the Bronx, New York. How you doing, Bronx? And if you are going, thanks for uh, coming in. Yeah, this is the last stream of today. Only a couple today, as we'll see tomorrow we're doing the big one. Oh, awesome, Alex. Well, welcome to one of the streams. We do stream every single day on Train Sim World, and Train Simulator is fairly regular. Oh, punch do you are, power? Yeah, so probably a bit of a squeeze. Definitely not COVID friendly <laughs> if everyone squidged in there and that little gap there, but it's all good. I'm sure there's room. There's another one. Look at that. Was in. Look how fast that's going. So we have to drive manual to the first stop at Govan. But yeah, the amount of sort of hard work and just the little details which have gone into this DLC 
is just amazing. I mean, you know, the depot, depot door, from the smallest thing, just to, you know, the depot door opening to the whole ATO. So I believe Alan did actually have to script it himself, which I'd imagine was probably a lot, a lot of work. So yeah, all the little features to it, I mean, yeah, brilliant job. Um, you know, from what I've heard from you guys in chat, who've actually been on the Glasgow subway, it seems to be all positive. And here we are, this is Govan. Right, let's see, uh, let's set the uh, that to, well, not emergency, to full. So we're now changing to automatic train operation. So we'll set that to, there you go, you can see auto drives now on. Uh, set that to P, so parallel, and then once we are ready to go, we can press start. But yeah, these trains, are, I think, from well, they're from the 70s slash 80s, and they could drive themselves. I mean, it's like wow. There you go. We've already done that. So, and we got minus points as well. TS doesn't like me. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get going, and we're off. So it's about 35 minutes round the loop, and we got the cab light on as well. Next stop, Partick. Cheers, Alex. You have not been to Scotland yet, so I don't think I have. It's on your to-do list. Awesome, Sebastian. Yeah, we are off. Yeah, it's been brilliant fun so far. So big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off. Proper steep grade up here. Yeah, who's already picked up the Glasgow subway or are you thinking about picking it up? What times do you make streams? Uh, there's not really a, a set time for it. We're usually always streaming around half six though. Oh yes, Anton. There you go, it's starting to slow down now for, uh, for part it. Yeah, I mean, either Rockies before, well, before it was talked about on this. Right, this is Partick. You brought it, you got it as well, awesome. Hello, Twisted Welsh, how are you? Welcome back. Long time OC, hopefully you're all well. Do the doors. Yeah, so the station's on it, we got... Um, you got Govan, Partick, Kelvin Hall, Hillhead, Kelvin Bridge, uh, St George's Cross, Calcaddens, Buchanan, St Enoch, uh, Bridge Street, West Street, Shield Road, Killing Park, or Killing Park, Sesnock Out, Sesnock, Ibrox, and then back to the depot. Hello Ryan, do you think it's worth the price? 100% Ryan. I mean the amount of little features in here and just it, it's great. Yes. Definitely worth the price. And it's 25% off at the moment with the launch discount. So if you're thinking of getting it, now's the time. Here's Alex. Went to Scotland first time back last November. Didn't do the tube. Definitely want to go back though. We'll give it a look. A look. Awesome twisted. And off we go. Kelvin Hall next. I believe it's uh, £20, Alex. I had a little look earlier on the store. Uh, I think it's 20 quid. And it's 25% off um, with the discount, so that probably puts it down to about 15 And this is Kelvin Hall. Look how fast we come into the platform, though. I mean, I know it's, it's, on, it's only 30 miles an hour, but just think how tiny the platforms are. Next stop, Kelvin Hall. Here we are. Kelvin all. Be brilliant doing this and the Bakerloo in the same stream, wouldn't it? The tube stream. <laughs> the flight up. <laughs> uh, can you do a departure and free camera? Yeah, we sure can. Cheers, Alex. Welcome back, um, Decker. 
Okay, fine, that's fair enough. Right. Uh, click that. Yeah, we can get an. We can get a depart. Whoa, there we go. Oh wow, listen to that. There you go. That's the departing shot. Awesome. So you probably could very easily do this route hardless, like very easily. I mean, it's automatic. We'll keep it on though. Uh, I don't think there is a passenger view. Yeah, I don't think there is one. Next stop, Hillhead. Next stop, Hillhead. Yeah, this is the outer loop. Flying up, not six hours of my journey. So much easier. Fair enough, twisted. We're about playing up, train down, or opposite. <laughs> Best of both. Does this connect with the Cathcart Circle? I don't know this area. Does anyone know? Does this. In any way, you get close to the calf. I mean, it probably goes under the calf cart circle. What's the closest station between this and the calf cart circle? Where well, we could sort of link the two together using TSW and train sim. Yeah, you know, so you can't really copy someone's livery. I mean, it's the Southwestern Railway livery, so it's going to be the same anyway. Ah, uh, I got you. I've not really done anything wrong there, Decker. I would imagine a lot of people have done the same liveries. If you're basing it off, obviously, the real thing. Right. Let's get going. Kelvin Bridge next. Kelvin Bridge, next stop. It's not too bad. It would have been seven hours by train. You get the passenger view by scrolling through the left and right arrow. Kit. Oh, do we? Oh yes, there we go. There's the passenger view. Apologies uh, if I did. Uh, well, I did say there wasn't a passenger. There is. There you go. Yeah, because I think uh, it's part of an extended cab view. Yeah, so we did have a look, but we obviously didn't do it on the uh, the other time. Yes. That's not bad, is it? Where's the passenger view? Apologies, because I did say there wasn't a passenger view, but we, we found it. It's actually, well, an extended cab view. And you can look around as well. That's pretty cool. Let's, let's do this section in, uh, in this. As it come into Kelvin Bridge. Yeah, let me reiterate, there is a passenger view. Oh, that sounds cool. Awesome Permian. And we see the doors opening, nice. So on some of the older trains on TS, if you're in passenger view, the doors won't open. Um, even though they are open on the outside view. On the more older ones. Cool, well, let's get back into the... Uh, to the cab. What did we do last time there? Because I remember we, we tried that. We did. Oh no, not that. Oh no, I think we did. No, I think we did that last time. Oops. Oh, cheers, Alex. Right, let, let, so we do it all in the passenger view to the next stop. Yeah, let's do it in the passenger view to the next stop. So that, that. Here we go. Really happy, aren't they, the passengers? And off we go. Well, there's the passenger departure shop. Pretty cool, though. So St George's Cross next. Up to you, Leisure. Up to you, mate. Let's get that off. There we go. So yeah, this is the passenger view. Uh, you get a few. You got another one here. Let's do that one. As we as we make our way along. Really cool. So yeah, if you want to go into the passenger view, it's not the usual, you know, click passenger view, you go in. Arrow keys when you're in the cab, left and right. Cheers, Alex. Now where's the station? Are we coming up to it? I'm guessing we are. Hey, look at this, here we are. Hello Dove, what lines are in, in this game? 
there's over 600 DLC, so there's a lot, and probably even more than that with all the third party stuff. So there's a lot of it, there's a lot of routes. Yeah, let's stream every day we do, Alex. Yeah, so, you know, so there we go, there's the door you can open there. Bit dangerous though to open it. Next stop, go Cadence. She's posing, probably. Just like it. So Kirk Adams next. Yeah, there's a lot of DLC for this game. TS doesn't like me, it always gives me minus points. Also start, let's go. And we're off. So we've got Cal Cadden's Buchanan Street, St. Enoch, Bridge Street Out, Bridge Street, West Street, Shields Road. Kenning Park, says not, and then Ibrox and up to the depot. Off we go. Yeah, we have got automatic train operation on, and you can turn it off. You don't need you don't need to use the automatic mode. Obviously it's more realistic to use the automatic mode, but it is possible to just do it manual the whole time. If you want to. Comes down to 18 by the looks of things coming into Cow Cadence. Got another train going past. And thanks to whoever just did subscribe, much appreciated. Yeah, we do plenty of train simulator and lots of train sim world. Train sim world is every single day. And yeah, plenty of train simulator as well. And here we are. So what's the longest train on the Glasgow subway? Or is it all just three coaches? I'm guessing it's all three. I mean, we only just about fit in the platform with three. So I'm guessing it is all three. Cheers, Anton. You need to route to level up. Uh, East Coastway. Yeah, Cal Cadens. It's been brilliant though, hasn't it, so far? And it is the Cannon Street next. <laughs> Fair enough, Gordon. Next stop, Buchanan Street. There you go. Love the announcements as well. And yeah, the way we're moving forward really gradually, that's that's a TS thing. It's to stop the game from crashing. I don't think every route it does it on, but most routes, most trains. It does, Lara, yes. Is it possible to drive the route in manual operation? Yes. One of the scenarios is to do that. I uh, don't really have a preference, Kenzie, between between the two. They're both sort of different in their own way, aren't they? Cheers, Alex. Gander Street, next stop. Gander Street, next stop. Yeah, tomorrow we are doing nine hours on, and probably even more than nine hours, possibly ten. Um, I mean, last time we did nine and a half on the Brighton Main Line and the East Coastway routes on Trainston World. Yeah, that is tomorrow, nine hours. Awesome time, yeah. Cool. Nice and chilled out this one, though. Yeah, this is done by Thompson Interactive, who's done some brilliant routes in the past. A couple of them I know is the, the Benina Line or the Benina Pass, um, and the West Coast Main Line Trent Valley. Which, you, if you haven't played the West Coast Main Line Trent Valley, it's a brilliant, uh, brilliant route from Rugby to Stanford, I think it is, with announcements and PIS, I think as well. Which for a TS thing is pretty advanced. Hello, Heiko, good evening. Guten Amen. Is that is that good evening, isn't it? I think. Bring on ten hours. <laughs> 
Depends really, as I want to end at three bridges, so it depends where we are at the nine hours. If we're not at three bridges, I want to I want to end at three bridges. So. How long is this stream going to be? We'll do this scenario and then that will be it. And that's the last stream of today. That's tomorrow we're doing nine hours. She's Alex. Yeah, it's awesome, Heiko. This is the Glasgow U-Bahn in German terms. So an Enoch next. It's an Enoch next stop. Well, Enoch next, next stop. Nine hours is still good for me, awesome. Next stop. Here we are. Turning up. Here we go. Probably whiz into those stations, don't you? That's a bit more gentle. We even speed up a little bit there, actually. Even Stephen, what is the next stream? The next stream's the big one tomorrow. Yeah, I won't be live tonight as well. Be gaming to myself, I guess, as tomorrow is the big stream. So I don't really want to be streaming tonight. Oh yes, Joe, that's what we did last time, so we'll do it again. Next stop, Bridge Street. Bridge Street. Oh, I see, yeah, uh, Alex, fair enough. Bridge Street is next. Yes, we got minus 700 points. It's all good. That's all good, Stephen. Yeah, Bridge Street. Yeah, so I'm guessing we're going back under the river, back under the Clyde. On our way. So I believe it was 31 past we get to... Um, yeah, Ibrox. There's not too many stations now. Is there a channel Discord? There sure is. Link is in the description. And should also Nightbot puts it in chat as well. Awesome, Jody. Uh, uh, not really, Daniel. <laughs> well, that is uh, the key to streaming for nine hours. Of plenty to drink. So if you don't drink, you then sort of get a headache and feel tired. So yeah, I'll be drinking lots tomorrow. Not like cola though, because cola makes you need to go to the loo, so... I don't know, what's saying? When is the stream going to be tomorrow? The stream tomorrow is going to be at, mm, from 9.30 to 6.30. It's going to be a big, a big one. Oh yes, if you are struggling to find the passenger view like we were, I, mean, I thought there wasn't a passenger at, at first. When you're in the cab, use the left and right arrow keys. There you go, you got the cab view there. Right, let's go. Off we go. Lots of drinks, yeah. Well, last time I had Ribena, so have we got any of that? I'll try and have some of that tomorrow. Right, it's West Street next. Off we go. Yeah, it does it by itself, Gordon. Does it by itself. We got automatic train operation on. But we would have we have to go manual once we get um, towards the depot. I just realised we were still in dim on the headlights. This is West Street. Though, isn't it? Here we are. Doors. So we've got Shields Road, Kenning Park, Cessnock, and then the Ibrox. Whoa. Here's the station. Yeah, let's just see the other stations over there. This is the overground. <laughs> See, Alex, thanks for coming in. Which obviously isn't modelled, but I mean, fair enough, because, you know, the, you're not going to see the overground. Hello, Dexter. This is an underground route. 
Hello, Dexter. Although someone will probably still complain though, won't they? They'll be like, hang on, Glasgow isn't modelled above. How could that be let, you know, happen like that? Obviously, it's an underground route, it doesn't need to be modelled. How much sessions are there? Sessions? You mean streams? Well, this is the last stream of today. Oh, there's the cat. I suppose not a lot can go wrong if you go on the desk. I mean, the train drives itself, so we're all good. Fair enough, Dexter. And let it go. Hopefully all well. Yeah, here's the cat. Are you going to sit on the chair? There we go. <laughs> Fair enough, maybe one Coca-Cola. Oh, blimey. Good to see you're all good now, Georgia. And here we are, this is Shields Road. Been great fun. I'm all good, David. Off. Hopefully, we're all well. What is this? Please delight here for Scotland something museum. Scotland Street School Museum. So that's a school museum? Scotland Street School. What on earth is that? Scotland Street School Museum. Anyone been there? You can learn about streets there. <laughs> Fair enough, Jodie. Let's watch this going out again in um, on the outside. We drew into Ibrox at 31. Although we are, oh wow, well, we were supposed to be here at 25. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all good. Off we go. Back in. Killing Park next. Let's do the announcement as well. Killing Park next stop. Uh, Killing Park next stop. That's so 34 at the moment. 35. Killing Park next stop. Cool. So we got Killing Park. Says not an NI Brox, and it'll be up to the depot. Yeah, what an awesome route. I shall sure have uh, Georgia, yes. There's an old Victorian school, that's a museum. Ah, oh, I've got your cook. Uh, coming into Kenning Park. Yeah, once we've completed this, we would have done both tutorials and an inner and outer service on the route. So far, very, very good. I don't know. Uh, I mean, can we try and get to 100 likes? I mean, we're on 91, so I mean, it's entirely possible. Uh, no, I haven't dexed. Is that like a mobile game? Sounds like a mobile game. Nice, Georgia. I think Run 8's more US stuff, isn't it? US freight and stuff like that. And I've heard it's quite pricey as well. Run 8's by Kuju, isn't it? Which originally did do Train Simulator. Hey, we got plus 7 for that. We got some positive points. So it's not next. Let's do that on the PA. So it's not next stop. Off we go. Yeah, can we try and get up to 100 likes? We're on 92 at the moment. Can we try and get 100? Oh no, it's US, yeah. So we're going to be taking it back to the depot. Oh, I see Georgia. Next stop, Cessna. So do the trains go back up to the depot each time then? And then they then sort of refresh and then go back in? Or do they just keep going round and round and round? Uh, I don't know, David, or probably over the weekend. Yeah, is this what happens in real life? They sort of do a whole loop, go back up to the depot, and then sort of turn around and go back. Do they not just go, you know, round and round and round? Awesome, Amanda, enjoy. Well, that bit's modelled there, because that's where the depot is. 
Can I get back in? Where's 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 the station? I want, I want to go in. Where, where is it? Here it is. What an awesome route though. But yeah, pick this up now. I believe it's fifteen pounds with the twenty five percent discount. So if you are liking what you see, and now's the best time to get the route. Ibrox next. Ibrox next stop. Hello, Mix. How you doing? Cheers. Yeah, we're still live. It's almost been two hours. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know if you can see Smudge on there. Can you see her on there now? No, she's just a, just that. Come on, Smudge. I think she wants to go out. She's sort of just looking like, what's he doing? Smudge, you coming down? You're gonna make your appearance. The train's driverless, so not a lot can go wrong. Oh, so she's she's looking. She's thinking about it. Oh no, there she, uh, so she's coming. Smudge is coming. Everyone say hi oh, to Smudge. There she is. I uh, can't remember. Oh no, not on the keyboard. Yeah. Next stop, Ibrox. Ibrox. Here we are. The service is terminating here at Ibrox. Nice train terminates here. Right, let's set that to um, put the brakes to full. Set that to manual as we're going to be going uh, into the depot. Uh, I think yeah, that's all good. Right, so we now go up into the depot. Oh yeah, sure is the cat ace. We wait. Hello Lee, how are you? Yeah, that's the saying. Uh, returning to manual. Control. Oh yes, the points. Mm. <laughs> oh nice, uh, Anton. Right, let's go depot line one. So we're now in uh, manual mode, and the passengers are all off as well. What an awesome route, though. I don't know, Daniel. I mean, the door's going to be open the whole time, so. Quite a fair few. Is that another train ahead? That is another train, isn't it? Just ahead, I think. But we're turning off. Yeah, nine hours tomorrow. Have we got an 18 on there, so that's going to bring us down to 18. There you go. A lot, yeah. Oh, nice, uh, Quicko. Good for you, mate. Oh, yeah, we got the D for depot there. And we're going off over there. Nice. Yeah, we're going off. It's going to be good. Yeah, we'll be having. Yeah, we'll, we'll be going on the school run, so. We'll have a, our usual sort of, that's like the lunch break, a half an hour break there. So I'll just set us up at the station, watch trains. Um, then yeah, we'll back after that. The service terminates here at Ibrox. Please leave the train. There we go. I think a third party texture upgrade would be welcome. Nice Norwich. There we go. Can I get into the external view? There you go. Out we go. Maybe one day, Luke. Uh, maybe one day. Look at that. It's brilliant. Let's get a little bit closer. Yeah, coming out of the um, tunnel. To depot line one. You wish train to more two would add the Jubilee line to train to more two so we can hear those beautiful motors off the trains. What's 
Jubilee line. Is that 1997 stock? I don't know the Jubilee that well. I'll also set the headlights, which we're going to be getting them off in a second, so that doesn't really matter. And here we are. This is Depot Line 1. Imagine if a while you were on the school run, Cat Ace ended the stream. Oh, God. Puts their paw on the uh, power button. I mean, it's entirely possible. That would be annoying. Um, that's a full. Get that off. Uh, so that's off. Parking brake goes to on. Um, cab light off. 1996 stock. Uh, now move to the rear cabin. Let's do that. Let's change ends. Oh, do that again. Alright, set that to manual. There we go. Set that to dim as we're in the depot. Make sure that's off. No. Set it to dim then. Uh, instrument lights. We didn't turn off the instrument lights in the other end, did we? It's all good. Um, get that off. And let's get going back into the depot. Yeah, can we try and get 100 likes? We're on 96 likes at the moment. That would be cool. Off we go. As we leave... Well, as we leave depot line... One. <laughs> yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed the stream. Obviously, big thanks to Dovetail Gamers for giving us the key to show off the Glasgow subway. And yeah, brilliant job by um, Thompson Interactive as usual. I recommend checking out the other routes Thompson uh, Interactive do as well. West Coast Menard, Trent Valley, Bernina Pass, some really good ones on there. That's good, Sebastian. In a second. Yeah, back into the depot. But yeah, I really have enjoyed the Glasgow subway. I didn't realise it was as long as it was. I thought it was going to be like, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes going in one big loop, but about 40 minutes or so. So, yeah, I mean, what, was 16 miles on the outer loop? So there's plenty to do on this. Uh, and yeah, you get the two tutorials and then five scenarios so yeah plenty to do but I thought it was much smaller but no, it's actually quite a big uh, system well as small as opposed to other ones but still yeah brilliant really enjoyed that and just the little details as well like the opening depot door there I have not seen that before on TS no, wait for it, wait for it. It's going to close in a second. Well, it should close. Many second now. There you go. That comes to a stop. Look at that. Cool. But yeah, we'll go back out and quickly have a little look. See the scenarios you get. Uh, set that to off. There we go. Probably wait for that with our minus 1,205 points. <laughs> We've got 98 likes, two more to go. Can we do it? Well done, driver. That was a successful journey. Let's have a look. Let's get back out. So, yeah, they are career scenarios. I don't think you do get anything on the standard. Let's quickly have a look. Um, yeah, nothing on the standard. So, let's go back to career. And you can see you get... Oh, can I go back on Glasgow Subway? No, not Barnstrecker, Leipzig to Dresden. Uh, Glasgow Subway. Yeah, you can see you get two tutorials. And then one, two, three, four, five, five uh, scenarios. Inner Circle Service, Outer Circle Manual Mode Challenge, uh, Outer Circle Service, so we've just done the inner and outer, Service Disruption, and the Shunting sh uh, Shuffle, which is also there. And then yeah, the really well done tutorials, which are very easy to follow and just very well done and very well put. Uh, hey, 100 likes, awesome. But anyway, that is going to be it, everyone, for the first look at the Glasgow uh, subway. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. That was awesome. 
Highly recommend it. It is, I believe, £15 with the 25% discount. Obviously, once the 25% discount goes, it will be back up to £20. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and we'll be doing nine hours, a nine-hour stream on the Brighton Mainline and on East Coastway, raising funds for an autism awareness charity, Red Paracresta. That will be tomorrow. It's already scheduled, so feel free to go and leave a like and, well, put a reminder on for it. But yeah, starting at 9.30 BST tomorrow in the morning and going all the way until about 6.30 p.m. BST. So, yeah, highly looking forward to that. It's going to be good. But, yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show off. Big thanks to everyone for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.